Uh, hi everyone, it is time for our devotional of the day. Just looking for a nice bit of ground to sit on outside. Connect due to poor wireless. It's a bad sign, isn't it? Hang on. Let's see if we go. Oh gosh, coming outside with a bad idea if I do. There we go. Turn off the wire, let's go for the 4G. Right. Let's see if my little stand, there he goes. You gonna stay there? No, don't fall. Don't fall. Mm, on the ground then. Oh, hi Cheryl. Just looking for the best angle for my camera. Shouldn't have come outside, should have stayed inside. There we go, you can see me, I can see me. Hopefully you can hear me. See the nice wall of the church there. Come on, stay up. There it is. Okay, we are still in Luke, um, but I'm feeling more excited about my passage from Luke today. Not that any of the passages have been bad, but I just feel like Luke's been really hard hitting for the last uh, few uh, passages. And um, today's passage is not so hard. Morning, Alary, good to see you. Not that I can see you, but you can all see me. Here I am. So we're reading from Luke chapter 12, verse 22 all the way to 34, but it's a good one, so it's okay. Then Jesus said to his disciples, Therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat, or about your body, what you will wear. For life is more than food, and the body more than clothes. Consider the ravens, oh, and the wind. Uh, consider the ravens, they do not sow or reap, they have no storeroom or barn, yet God feeds them. And how much more valuable you are than birds. Who of you by worrying can add a single hour to your life? Since you cannot do this very little thing, why do you worry about the rest? Consider how the wildflowers grow. They do not labour or spin, yet I tell you, not even Solomon in all his splendour was dressed like one of these. If that is how God clothes the grass of the field, which is here today and tomorrow is thrown into the fire, how much more will he clothe you, you of little faith? And do not set your heart on what you will eat or drink. Do not worry about it, for the pagan world runs after all such things, and your father knows that you need them. But seek his kingdom, and these things will be given to you as well. Do not be afraid, little flock, for your father has been pleased to give you the kingdom. Sell your possessions and give to the poor. Provide provide purses for yourselves that will not wear out, a treasure in heaven that will never fail, where no thief comes near and no moth destroys. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Told you it was a good one. Um, it's a really encouraging passage. You know, the whole heading of it, certainly in my Bible, is um, do not worry. Um, and, you know, on the surface, really, really encouraging. It's great, isn't it, that we have a, a Father God, a loving Father God, uh, who encourages us and who's there to provide for us. Um, and that's really great. But what do we do when we do worry? Um, and I read something really interesting, so I'm going to share that with you. It kind of flips back to the Old Testament, but it's very relevant for not worrying. Um, and it talked about Adam and Eve, and it said that Eve's problem wasn't that she doubted or she worried or she had questions. Her problem was that she went to the wrong person with them. She went to the serpent, she went to the devil, and she said to the devil, I'm, I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to do. Maybe this is right. I'm a little bit concerned. And the devil fed her a lie, and that's where sin entered. You know, it's normal to worry, it's human to worry, God's not going to punish us for worrying. But what we need to do with our worry is take it to God, because, I mean, he made all this grass. I mean, I'm looking down in front of me, and there's a teeny tiny little spider crawling on my leg. Let's see if I can get him up. No, I can't. Oh, I have. He's on my finger. Um, and God cares about him, this little tiny red spider. God created him, and actually how amazing. If I looked at him under a mi magnoscope, magnoscope? Uh, magnif whatever. A thing that makes it look bigger. Like, how incredible would he look? And, uh, and God made him. And if God made this tiny little spider, then he also made me. And if he cares about this tiny little spider, let's see if I can get back on the ground, then he must care about me as well. And that is really exciting. And, and I know it sounds simple. I know it sounds like it's for kids, but I think we forget that. I think we get sometimes so lost in uh, theology and doctrine and what does that mean and what does this mean that we forget that ultimately God loves us and he cares for us and he wants us to come to him and say, do you know what? I'm just feeling a bit worried. If you don't feel worried at this time, I don't know who you are because this time is so uncertain. We don't know what's going on. Like the government changes its mind all the time. And, uh, 
I mean, the government doesn't know what it's doing really either, does it? It's a really worrying time and it's okay to be worried, but we need to take our worries to the creator of the world, the creator of that tiny little spider, the creator of me, the creator of you, because he knows best. Um, I've just filmed live wires for Sunday and we're talking about the miraculous catch of fish. And the point of the story that I'm saying to the kids is that Peter knew about fishing and he knew, thought he knew best, but Jesus knew better. And uh, we need to be obedient to him and we need to listen to him, but we also need to bring our worries and our cares to him because he cares about us and he wants to help us. You know, he cares about this daisy that's dying over here, that spider on my hand, the ravens in the sky, the seagulls, all of them. He cares about all of them, but mostly he cares about us. We are his children, all of us, if you believe in him. That can't be taken away. So, you know, don't beat yourself up if you're worrying, but make sure you take it to God because he wants to help you. Okay, uh, see you again on Sunday probably. Bye!